Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Akila and today I have my sister Shirley here. Say hi. Hi everyone. And by the look of my face and hers <laughs> and the title of the video, I think you can tell what's going to be happening. Shirley's going to be doing my makeup. Before we get started on that, I just kind of want you to let you guys know a little bit about like a um, couple of things I think you guys would like to know. One, Shirley and I, we have lived together our entire lives. We have completely different styles of makeup, how we do our makeup. I mean, nothing is the same. We, it's, we've accepted each other for that. and but So I think it's going to be very interesting. And another thing, never in her life has she ever done my makeup. I know. I was so surprised when you said, hey. I just thought it would be interesting. When you do my makeup. Yeah. I'm so excited. Um, I'm excited too. I really want to see how it looks. So if you'd like to see the results, keep watching. Go for it. All right. So as she's going to do my makeup. <laughs> you're being so <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's jump right into it. She's going to be working. And I actually have a couple of questions that I thought of. Um, by myself. Okay. She does not know these questions. You good? <laughs> All right, guys. So I have no idea. I forgot to say this, but I have no idea what she's going to do. Like I didn't. It's all up to her. I don't know what color she's going to use. What kind of like look she's going for. I know she says she has something in mind, um, but I also came up with a couple questions that I'll be asking her. Not too many, because Shirley's the kind of person that likes to be focused and whatever she's doing, but I thought it'd be, now is the time, guys. <laughs> You're so silly. Okay. Can I just say that I'm so excited to work on such a beautiful canvas. Oh, don't it's be, so pretty. Don't be creepy. Don't be creepy. Fine. I'll chill. Okay. Akla has already done her eyebrows. Yes. So I'm going in. I like to start with the eyes, so if you could please close your eyes for me. Just some concealer, and I like this one because it's got a, a little bit of a tint to it. Okay. So it will... Whenever you're doing your makeup, do you start with your eyes first? Yes, always. Okay, so eyebrows and then eyes? I do my eyebrows and then, yeah, and then at the end I have to ch touch up my eyebrows again, of yeah. course, but it just, for me, it just makes it easier, I don't know, it feels right. Alrighty. Okay. Eyes closed. Do you need to read something? No, it's okay. Like the questions? Okay. Well, yeah, I, I can, but I'll let you do that. Just powdering your eyes a little bit. Okay. There is Shirley, DJ, my brother, and then myself. Um, so the question to you is, how does it feel to be... I don't think I've ever asked you this either, but what does it feel like to be the oldest sibling? I mean, did I have a choice? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I. It's normal to me. Um, I feel like we take care of one another so much and it's just amazing and so a lot of the times I don't feel like the oldest it's like there are times that I do I mean I know I'm the oldest and stuff but DJ can just be such a caretaker to both you and I and sometimes he can feel like he's the oldest and you can at, how many times do we talk and you give me you know counseling and all of that so from when it comes to that aspect, mm -hmm. if being the oldest means being the mature one, then I feel like we all share that. All right, next question. What's the most annoying thing that I do? Annoying thing? Mm -hmm. Um. Good question. Um. You're, some would say you're bossy, close your eyes please, bossy, but personally I like that about you, it's one of my favorite things, not bossy, I don't think you're bossy. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> you don't sound very convincing. 
see there. Um, I like your personality. I like that you are but, okay. indescribable in a sense. But so what to me annoying you're not annoying. That's the thing. You're I'm not sweet. being I'm not even being sweet right now. I'm just being honest. And it's kind of annoying that I can't find something to be annoyed. You know? It's As the just, video goes on, say? only time will tell. Only time will tell, I guess. What part, if you had to pick, makes the outfit? Ooh, very good question. Very good question. Dollin. Very good question, darling. Um, makes the outfit? Mm hmm. Ooh. Uh, I think a nice pair of shoes. I think shoes can make the outfit can dress it up or down depending of course on the outfit but most outfits can be dressed up in my opinion with the shoes with a nice pair of shoes with a nice pair of shoes these sneakers or heels i like both but definitely mostly heels like 98 percent of the time and then there's that two percent what city have we lived in that was your favorite Again, um, different cities, we had different um, experiences, experiences, mm -hmm. and it was also at different times in our lives. Mm -hmm. I like where we live now a lot, mm -hmm. a lot. So, I would say here. Yeah. City. Um, City-wise? Wise, okay. I'd say here, although Orlando was really nice as well. Okay. And then experiences wise, like growing up and, you know, the life that we had at the time, like what we were doing, mm -hmm. Charlotte. Charlotte was really nice and we had really a lot of great ex experiences. Memories. There. Memories. Yeah. Okay, for sure. Open what eyes. is a pet peeve that people do that you hate? That is what, it, that's literally the definition of a pet peeve. Mm, sneeze and don't cover the Oh sneeze. my gosh, I knew it. Like, I literally knew that that was the answer. Yeah. I feel like you and I have suffered a lot when it comes to that, like... Yeah. Um, I'm almost to the point where somebody sneezes next to me and they don't cover their sneeze. Like, I just don't say bless you a lot of the times because I have to just run away and not catch <laughs> huh. those So, germs. not to be controversial, this has been with her, with us mostly, um, prior to anything that's happening right now around the world. Right, right. It's for us, it's more lack of consideration to it's, I mean, now more than ever, you should do it, you know, not even lack of consideration, like it's literally following health no guidelines yeah, not the set way. forward by like the people who know what they're talking about, right? World Health Organization, everywhere. Um, so, but it's so sad to see that even now people still choose to not do that. Um, so yes, covering your sneeze is definitely both our... Pet, pet peeves. Main pet peeves. So we're good with the eyes for now. Is it turning out good? Because I it's turning um, out there's the we do have a viewfinder, but I can't see just because of how I'm angled. So Roy, celebrity crush. Who is your current? That should be important in there. Here's a fun fact about me though. That from in life in general, like I rarely have one answer for everything. I don't, I, I can't. I'm She's just not that kind of complicated soul. Right. I can't, there's, there's, there's just so much in life to just pick one thing a lot of the times. Correct. Like, I don't have just one favorite food, one favorite color, one, one, one. Why? I mean, to me, it's just difficult. I don't know if it's a Libra thing. I don't know. So, Celebrity Crush, I don't have just one. I have a little list. It changes. <laughs> I say all that to say this. I say all that to say this. <laughs> yes. Uh, I first, Chris Evans. It used to be Channing Tatum. See? She uh, loved like, Channing, you guys. And like, he's probably like five, fifth on the list. Like, uh, let's just do top five because I think there are like five of them. Oh my gosh. You're going to, are you exposing your celebrity crushes to the YouTube? <laughs> um, yes. Okay. Um, Chris Evans. You just Number know one. that DJ, when he watches this, is going to hate this part. <laughs> I know. Chris Evans. 
Um, the Rock, Vin Diesel, Channing Tatum. I also really like Nick Cannon. Yeah. So <laughs> I don't know. I just went like. <laughs> you agree? <laughs> I just you agree. I just had never heard of Nick Cannon before. And on her so, list, so so yeah, that's my um, current updated list. Next question. Um, what is one of the best qualities in someone? Loyalty, for me. Uh, loyalty. Uh huh. Loyalty, honesty. Those yeah. are my main, my main qualities that I admire and look for in people in general. Okay, I can say for us, I think that qualities that we look for in <laughs> other people are usually traits that like kind of like molded you. So I think that when you, I think that when you look out into the world, you kind of want to see a reflection of yourself in a way. And I think that um, growing up, our parents did a really good job of um, exposing us to that, you know? Mm -hmm. And so I think that is why we hold that to such regard. Absolutely. Yeah. But. Yeah, so loyalty. Loyalty, for sure. Loyalty, loyalty. Loyalty. <laughs> if you know that reference, you know. Loyalty, loyalty, loyalty. Out of all of the um, languages you speak, um, she speaks four. Which one is your favorite? Which one's my favorite? Mm -hmm. If if three if three had to go, what would you want to keep? English. <laughs> <laughs> it's spoken only because it's spoken worldwide. Worldwide. Uh, but my favorite favorite is um, Spanish and French. And that's seen a lot because I'm from Brazil and I love speaking Portuguese. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful to me. But it's very similar to French. And so French would come first. And, um, yeah. I, and Spanish. I don't know. I just love Spanish. Um, but I love speaking Portuguese and English as well, of course. I mean, I just love languages. It's hard to pick one. Like I said... I can never pick just one. I could never. Plus, I think it's only fair then to have her indulge us and. But I have a phrase. Can you say something in each language and say the same thing in all of them? A minha irmã é muito linda. Uh, Gente, a minha irmã é muito linda. <laughs> <laughs> and um, my sister is so beautiful. And my sister is très belle. La plus belle. Okay. Thanks. We. Oui. Is there a goal language that like it's a passion to ever learn, or ha like is that French for you? French is definitely my um, number one passion to continue learning because I I have so much that I can and need to improve on. Um. So French definitely for me. Mm -hmm. Uh, but also Italian, Italiano. I love it and. I just, I love it. Interesting. Would you describe yourself as a going out or a homebody? I'm a homebody. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> uh, you okay. know it's real when they don't take, you want me to close my eyes? No, just keep them all open like that. Okay. Not openly, just pop off. Homebody. For sure. Just don't lower your gaze. Just keep it up like that. Yeah. Because I'm, I'm about to sign it and I don't want any creases. Don't. Just keep it up. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> keep it up. Yeah. Yeah. Keep it like that. Until I let you know. Baking? Yeah. I'm just going to set the under eye. A step that I never knew. You don't? I don't bake. OMG. I mean, baking is not for everyone. It's not for everybody, and my skin is so sensitive, you guys, that whenever I'm doing my makeup, it's just very rare that I will use powder. Really? Mm -hmm. This and one is really good, though. It's the Huda Beauty one, and it's so thin, and it's so finely milled that it's, like, barely noticeable. It just feels so much different than what I normally do. Like Really? Mm-hmm. 
Usually we each My get face. ready in our own bathrooms or rooms right. or whatever. We never. And then we would come out just looking good and we just compliment each other and go about our lives. Oh my gosh, you look so good, sis. Tell me what you did with your... Who does that sound like? Is that not me every time you walk out? <gasps> sis, tell me what you did with your eyes. Wow. Wow. Yeah, but it, this, so this is a step I absolutely never do. So this should be a first. I mean, I set my under eye, like, I don't go around, like, smearing my foundation. But I don't, like, bake. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Describe for us what a perfect relaxation for you is a day at home. Shower, or bath, you know, do all my um, self-care routine. Mm -hmm. Put on a nice robe. Have a candle burning. Mm -hmm. either in my bedroom or in the living room or wherever just so that I can relax some nice piano music I love piano music okay just set and the atmosphere to set the atmosphere okay the next question is if you had to live off of one food for a month what would it be <coughs> pasta <laughs> or Mexican I mean one one I already said I'm not good with ones. Uh, like, this is gonna be hard. <laughs> choices. Like, I can do limited choices as a for a month, surely. For a month. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Something tells me you have lived off pasta. For a month. <laughs> <laughs> can you tell? Um, I'd say I can definitely do it for a pasta for a month. Uh, okay. You know, for sure. <laughs> I don't know if you're gonna want to share this, but um, have you any? Um, Crazy date experiences. Crazy dates? Mm -hmm. um, oh, okay. Maybe the craziest one one time was I went on a date with this guy. And he was drinking. We went to Starbucks. And he was drinking a green matcha tea. And at some point during the date, he was trying to talk. And sip. <laughs> oh, he kind of, like, the straw kind of, like, left. Like, <laughs> just, like, you it. And he went, like... <laughs> He had matcha tea kind of all over the table and kind of running, but that was the craziest thing. I oh. not cra and it wasn't even all over me because I was on the other side. And we continued. I pretended that nothing happened. He grabbed the napkin, cleaned the table, cleaned his face. <laughs> she is single, so <laughs> and that was about it. That, okay, and I'm still single, so that did not work out. Mm. Okay. All right. Next question. Someone you really admire. Anyone? Mm -hmm. Again, I have a few people. Mm -hmm. I admire you. I admire, you know, my family, DJ. But um, I admire people that are able to, just the fact that someone is able to, and not to make it a long answer, most um, people that travel to another country and are able to make a living for themselves. Anyone that can do that, I admire a lot. Put us on to something that nobody else knows about. About me? Put YouTube on. It can be anything. It can be food. It could be what is something that we are sleeping on as a community? <laughs> <laughs> Sleep. I think it's something that I like a lot that people are sleeping on. <laughs> Drake Lullaby. <laughs> Literally sleeping because then should I explain what that even is right now? Y'all sleeping on some Drake lullabies. Let me tell you something. It's a thing. And, and it's good. And thank us later, right? Yeah. It's actually like amazing. If you have babies and you like Drake, you're welcome. Um, If you don't have a kid and you like to nap, you're welcome. And if you like to study and you like Drake, you're welcome. Favorite music genre? I like all music genres. Okay. Look at me. See, I don't like every musical genre. I do. I, I cannot. I enjoy more some more than others, but I love all music. Okay. All music. okay. Well, I have one less, but I want to save it for whenever you're almost done, because that is the golden. See you, cute.
last but not least, uh, what is something you think people would be surprised to know about you? Um, I would say, I'm going to say something that, because this to me was a surprise hearing it coming from you and your guys' mouth, my family, that I'm silly. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that I was... I didn't know that I was silly until you guys literally sat down and proved it to me. I just had never seen myself in that light, and now I can't take it back, and I can't hide it, and I'm I can't fight it. Clip here. <laughs> I can't fight it. I am silly. You've embraced it. I've embraced it, oh. and that's something that I don't put. I mean, just looking at me, you guys would never tell. Me. I tell her that she should probably tell guys beforehand because once you get to know that side of Shirley, there's no <laughs> going back. I know. Ah, uh, I have a silly sister. And beautiful and but she's many things but to, it was it, it was hard to make her realize that she was silly how did you feel it was really hard it was a shock to me because I never thought I mean I guess I was just myself <laughs> uh, I, I, all right I think we're done okay I, wanna I really hope forward. you like this look done yes okay. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Te gusta? Yes. Let me... Te gusta? Take off the headband. Yeah, let's get the hair together. Oh, wow. Te gusta? Me gusta. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. I love... Alright, guys. Now I'm going to bring you in. I think Shirley did an amazing job. Is this what you had oh, in mind? Thank you. It's definitely what I had in mind. I wanted to do pink tones because I think they really complement you. Think well, I love it. I think it's definitely like outside of the norm. Um, she played up my eyes. I think she embodied a lot of what she loves, but she kept it on the neutral side, which is something that I love. Good. Um, so I'm overall, so I love it, and we look alike. Mm -hmm. Alright you guys, thanks for watching today's video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Leave us a comment down below um, for any um, suggestions, future videos, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!